not because they wanna do it Just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor Knowing that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy I can feel the weight The pressure of success Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Your boy Gary, two times back again. Alright, so, uh, about to get into episode four of Legacy. I mean, the loss of the Cowboys, man, it, it really hurt. Not gonna lie, it really did hurt. Um, lost by, what is that, four touchdowns? I mean, you just, you just can't do those kind of things. Um, I mean, the team hasn't changed. You're going to get better every week. Like I said, though, uh, just to recap of last week, man, Jerome Baker, he's a star dev now. Uh, Mike Gesicki wants to become a star dev, so I got to get him the ball a lot this game. So hopefully you get him, I think he wanted like two touchdowns or 200 yards or something like that. So we're going to try and make that happen, and if we do, uh... Uh, then we're going to have another star dev on the offense, so that's good. I'll see you guys in the game, though, man. Let's keep rocking out. Like, comment, sub, all that. Catches as a rookie, but did not find the end zone. Certainly feels more comfortable wearing number 88, his old college number. Yo, Josh. Yo, 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 man. So here we are. Better try and get the ball to Jaquim Green on this play here. He's got some space to run. Gets the ball down to about 30. So, like I said, man, we're probably going to be force-feeding Gasicki this game. Trying to get him this. The RDEV Z wants his first career touchdown. Here we go with some uh, comeback routes, some curls and stuff. And uh, force it in to a double team. Gasicki really had no chance there. Here we go. Uh, and he breaks two tackles. Uh, no one's going to catch him now. I don't. I mean, almost. Almost. If, uh, if wide receivers know how to tackle. Of course, but uh, here he goes. He grabs an easy pick six, puts them up seven. Um, come back here. We're on offense again now. They're up ten. Um, here we go again. Run that same scheme, and he can't catch now. Of course, it's gonna be a rough night for all of us. <laughs> Force feeding a guy who somehow refuses to catch the ball. Uh, so here we go right here, double drags with the halfback wheel. I sent the uh, second tight end, well, that's Gazicki. I sent him on a, um, a streak and release. Jaquim Grant catches the wheel for an easy, easy touchdown. Yeah, there you go, 77 yards to the house for Jaquim the Dream Grant out of the backfield. No one can run with that guy out of the backfield. It's just, it's not happening. You, you, you can't, you can't run with that guy at all. So we're gonna get this easy field goal. Should be fine. No worries there. Down ten to seven, and yeah, we're still in the first quarter. So come back here, down twenty thirteen. Think I uh missed the last touchdown or something. Earth kick. Yeah, I don't know. Just kick two field goals or something. They call a timeout right there. We're getting near the end of the second. So they're trying to score really quick before they go in for the half. Try and get some more momentum, you know. We're only down seven, so of course we're trying to stop them. We don't want to go in to the half of the two, two possession deficit. And they get an easy touchdown there. So it's a two TD game now. And uh, it looks like the Chargers are trying to pull away with this one. They're going to kick this field goal. And uh, we're going to get the ball 50 seconds left in the game. For the half. Come back out on halftime. The Chargers start with ball. Here we are. They run play action. And I bait Phillip Rivers with Raquan McMillan there. Good interception by Raekwon. It was a beautiful read. He knew exactly where Rivers wanted to go with the ball. We're going to come back out here on offense after the change of possession with a short field. They should be able to get a touchdown. They're up right now 17 points, so we need to score quickly. Here we go. We get it to the drag route to Mike Kosicki. He gets a few yards. Second and four. 
I'm gonna run the ball with the. I'm guessing this is Jaquim Grant. Jaquim. Oh. Went to a pass, went back to a pass play. Oh, and we just get intercepted by Joey Bosa is guarding Mike Gasicki there in the flat. That was a terrible read also by Josh Rosen. He's got to float that over Bosa's head there. Can't try to force feed Bosa, but, I mean, it, we're, we're probably losing the game because of it at this point. Um, there goes the defense. They stuff. That's Charles Harris on the... The tackle for loss against Melvin Gordon. Back here, and they run play action, and Phillip Rivers just gets sacked by Keon Cross and off the edge. Absolutely crushed him. Here we go, running. The defense is going to run a mid blitz here against the, uh, the Chargers, and they run a halfback draw, minimal gain. For the Chargers, it looks like he just got back to the line. Melvin Gordon has been locked up this game. Nine rushes for only 17 yards. It's third and 20, false start on the offense. Now they're looking at third and 25. Where could the defense go wrong here? They're running cover four drop. And it looks like a tip ball. Almost caught. If you would have caught that on the tip, you would have scored. Looks like we got the ball and just gave it right back to Phillip Rivers and the Chargers. Two touchdowns, one interception for Phillip Rivers. Keenan Allen's first reception of the game, though. We've been a, they've done a good job containing him this game. Raekwon McMillan right here coming up the middle, but Melvin Gordon bounces it outside for a positive gain. Now he's looking at 10 rushes, 31 yards, and a 3.1 average yards per carry instead of the 1.7 that he had prior. Come flying in and tackle Phillip Rivers for a sack again. This time Tyrone Holmes off the edge. We're going to blitz him again. We're going to send a DB this time off the edge there. Is that another linebacker? I can't tell. And he just hits the quick slant, and our DB gets cooked. This is outrageous. They're going to hold up, Hop. <laughs> Yo, why are you getting fucking cooked? We let him be. Gary, you're the Dolphins. Why else would you be getting cooked? Do you suck my dick? I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> that doesn't help. Wow, what is your, what is your offense at now? Oh, there's 79, but man. the offense is. <laughs> Well, the quarterback is ran through the worst, me. one of the worst quarterbacks in the league. So. Yeah. He's he's got like a year and a half before he'll start being reliable. <laughs> and that's if Gary. Oh, to keep he me. just whopped me. <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna like exception. Down 44-13, Josh Rosen makes a good pass to Mike Gasicki there. He catches the ball, gets some run after catch yards. But despite the scoreboard, Josh Rosen isn't playing as poorly as he usually does. Right here, we're looking right at Gasicki again, and we couldn't get the ball out because we got sacked. The offensive line that does a terrible job of protecting Josh Rosen. Definitely one of the the many places we need to address in the draft. Here we hit Joaquim for a minimal gain. Josh Rosen needs to get a little bit more accurate, though, as you see the uh, his stat line there. He's about 50% completion, 200 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. Joaquim Grant is leading the team in receiving yards right now. Here, 
call a timeout. Team didn't like the uh the offense didn't like the play that they were lined up in against that defense, so they changed the play here. Try and get something going against this uh this Los Angeles Chargers defense. And we get sacked and we fumble and give the the Chargers more chances to score here. So we got fifty four thirteen. Give that to Gasicki right there. It gets an easy catch for the first down. Run another play design straight for Mike Gasicki here. Trying to feed him the ball so at least he gets his star dev in this 40-point L. He gets some rack air and he gets another first down. Josh Rosen goes over 300 yards. The Chargers are having no no problem stopping this uh this offense right now. And it looks like we're gonna go right Josh Rosen gonna go right back to Gasicki here, but the ball gets tipped. That would have been a sure touchdown if it could have gotten there. Father. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's what the fuck I'm talking. That's the number one receiver play, nigga. Hell yeah. That's the fuck I'm talking about. I seen you. Did you see them whooping our ass still? Like, like fuck you me. You see the defensive back run to the end zone twice? You see that? I did. I watched it. We cried, you know. I'm sad. Owner told me I might get fired, but yeah, <laughs> great game. <laughs> yeah, keep up the good work. With the with the with the meme, the cry yeah, face behind sure. the happy yeah, face. Sure. Yeah, I see you, bro. <laughs> I'll be damned, Joey Bosa, fucking dime you. I cry. You're off the team. Swear to God, and it was Jakeem too. Like, you're off the team. I had him on the angle route and he didn't whop fucking he didn't whop that nigga like how <laughs> What what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I love Terry. Yo 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 man so that game was kind of wild <laughs> Five turnovers is not going to get it done at all. Um, passing, I mean, like, four interceptions, bro. That's, that's, that's the story of the game, pretty much. Rushing, 10 for 65. We didn't really run that much this game. But receiving-wise, this can't happen. Honestly, it just can't. I didn't even realize Jaquim had 144 and a touchdown. But, oh, that one, you throw a long pass to him early. And then... Mike Gasicki, the story of the game, he went nuts, but, I mean, he kind of had to, like, because, come on, 24 receptions, come on now. I was feeding him to get him his dev trait, so, uh, man, we lost by 34, but, like I said, we just got to get better every week. Uh, it's going to get better, so, I'll catch you guys in the next episode, man. Like your hell cut. <laughs>